afternoon, I'm Commissioner Mark Beecham, Precinct 1 of Wichita County. I'm the owner representative on the new Law Enforcement Center project. And we're standing here today in front of Phase 1, which kicked off last Friday. Uh, phase 1 is to build and relocate uh, a parking lot for the Vernon College. Uh, because the new facility will be built in the existing parking, uh, we had to build a parking lot for the Vernon College. Uh, to occupy while the construction's going on. So that's what's going on behind me right now is, is the start of the new parking lot facility for them. Parking lot should be complete in about six weeks. Uh, we just got word today that our design development was approved by the Texas Jail Commission. Uh, from that point, we'll start in the, or we're already started in the construction documents. Uh, doing the blueprints and everything, getting ready for actual construction. Uh, at this point, we anticipate construction on the actual facility to begin sometime mid-summer, hopefully around the middle of July. We'll be turning our first dirt on the actual building itself. So. Uh, also during this phase one, we'll be doing uh, fence work around the property. Uh, we'll be to install a security fence around the LEC and around the gun range. Originally the gun range had its own fence, but we decided to combine the gun range fence with the LEC project in order to get a consistency of the fence throughout. Uh, that, that project should be kicking off any day now as well as, as the parking lot. Some of the things that we did in the value engineering side is particularly in the employee parking lot, uh, we kind of changed the design concept of that a little bit in order to save on our funds. Um, we did cut some square footage out of the out of the LEC or the law enforcement side of the building. Uh, essentially, we had a break room that that set aside from the building. We cut that out and moved it back into the into the footprint of the regular building in order to save some square footage. Did not lose any functionality at all with the building. On the jail side, we decided that we would leave one pod. Uh, not finished to completion. Uh, right now our, our jail, daily jail population is not to the point where we would need that particular pod co completed at this point. So by shelling it out, we can better meet our needs, what they will be in the future. And instead of trying to project those, uh, that pod could be built out as far up as, as a 72 person pod, uh, instead of us trying to pick and decide what's gonna happen 10, 15 years down the road. Construction will already be there, the plumbing will already be there. It just will not be completed out into its entirety. 